Yo, it's your friendly neighborhood Hanso Sensei here, and I gotta say, Kiriko is definitely the perfect support for me. And I also have to agree with ML7 and the fact that Kiriko is definitely the hardest support to get max value out of. And uh, yeah, I also agree, she's a lot of fun though. Uh, Kiriko is one of the hardest heroes to aim with, and I have a bunch of tricks for you to make your life easier. But first, let's talk about this huge mistake that a lot of players do, and what I'm talking about is excessive flicking. Especially Cassidy players seem to love this, and shooting with Kiriko and Cassidy is basically the same thing. But it's even worse when you fall into this trap with Kiriko, because she has a very low base damage of 40, in exchange that her headshots can deal triple damage. Come on, Shimaba. But uh, what this essentially means is that you might as well be punching your target if you don't hit the head. Uh, but there is a very simple trick to land more headshots on Kiriko, and it might sound even a tiny bit too easy, but uh, if you give me 30 seconds, I'll convince you, okay? So this is what you probably think aiming with Kiriko should look like, but uh, trying to land wild headshots consistently like this is basically impossible. Of course when you have nothing else to shoot at, you can go for and hit those crazy shots like ML7 did here, but you are also going to need a consistent way to deal damage. Thankfully, Kiriko's kunais are not affected by gravity, so as long as your crosshair is at the head level, if you hit your target, it will be a headshot. So obviously you want to keep your crosshair at head level at all times, especially since body shots are not really worth anything. But the problem is that when you use your mouse to move the crosshair left and right, it's difficult to keep it from moving up and down a bit as well. And obviously, the higher your mouse sensitivity, the harder it is to stay at the perfect height. So the core idea is that the main job of your mouse should be the up and down movement to keep your crosshair at head level. And the only job of your movement keys, A and D, is to move your crosshair left and right towards your target. Of course moving your crosshair with just your movement keys also has problems of its own. Like for example, it's not that easy to perfectly track your target with movement keys, especially if it's a real player. So in most situations, you still need to use your mouse to do micro adjustments after moving your crosshair close to the target. Box in a hen house. So to explain it as clearly as possible, if you move your crosshair with your movement keys, this reduces how much you have to move your crosshair with your mouse. So this way, you can do shorter and slower mouse movements, which are gonna be way more accurate than the longer and faster mouse movements you would normally have to do otherwise. It's the same way that you should aim with Cassidy to maximize headshots and consistency. There's no need to do crazy diagonal flicks every shot, but uh, if this aiming method is hard for you to grasp, just go to practice range and pick Kiriko or Cassidy and temporarily reduce your mouse sense to like one. And uh, then try to shoot targets and you will automatically start using the movement keys to help move your crosshair in order to make up for the very low sensitivity. If you're wondering what mouse sensitivity to use, like the safe choice is usually 5 cents with 800 dpi. I have a very low sense, so 3 and 800 dpi but this sense is so low that I have to build my whole gameplay style around it and it definitely has its own weaknesses, so I just don't really recommend it because it takes a lot of effort to make it work. Oh my god, play of the game! Also, regarding her ultimate ability that doubles attack speed, it would be ridiculously hard to try to flick your shots at that speed. Like, the best you can do is spam at head level, but the fact is, you know, Kiriko ultimate is just better suited for already fast shooting heroes, like for example Soldier, and uh, less aim intensive, like for example Reinhardt and Winston. So don't feel like you suck if you can't keep your weapon accuracy up during her ultimate. Also, I'm not saying you should never flick. It just takes more effort and is less accurate, but at close range the targets move so fast that flicking might be the most effective choice. 
especially considering the fact that the closer your target is, the bigger the head hitbox and thus the less accurate you have to be. And of course the projectile hitbox is also huge, which makes flicking at close range very deadly. The hitbox might seem huge at first, but I think it's the exact same size as Senyata and a tiny bit bigger than Hansa. Plotted out. Let's talk about why Kiriko is so hard to play and especially why it's so hard to hit shots. For example, Hanzo is way easier to get picks with since you only need to land that one headshot or uh, two body shots. <laughs> a quick sellout break, so if you need a VPN and you want to support me and my content, if you want to protect yourself and my wallet at the same time, then make sure you check out expressvpn.com slash arge. 30 day money back guarantee if you're not happy with your purchase. Go check out the discounts. With Kiriko, you have to land two headshots or uh, one headshot and two body shots or just five body shots. And if your target is extra beefy like Reaper or Mei with 250 HP, then you need two headshots and one body shot or one headshot and four body shots or you know just seven body shots so don't even bother even though kiriko seems like a sniper hero who should be going for picks the most you can really do consistently is land one headshot for 120 damage and then hope that your teammates finish off your target but like there are some ways and situations that you can create or stumble upon where uh, you can consistently get picks, but uh, I will get to that later. Let's talk about this clip that I showed before. Like, it was already very difficult to consistently headshot these bots. Well, imagine trying to do that and at the same time keep track of your teammates' HP and possible ultimates or cooldowns from the enemy team that you need to counter with your invulnerability. But yeah, next up, let's talk about positioning and then head over to the advanced tips. And don't worry if some of this stuff goes over your head or seems too complicated, because as long as you open your mind to the fact that there's more for you to learn, then slowly over time you will still keep improving and things will start to make sense. Even though Kiriko can climb walls, most of the time it's not the best idea to take the high ground, because the bigger the elevation difference between you and your target, the more you need to vertically adjust your crosshair when your target moves towards or away from you. So basically, you will have the best weapon accuracy when you are on the same elevation as your target. You might not always want to stand behind your team spamming at head level, since her kit makes it very easy to go for a quick flank to try to for example catch the enemy Anna or Widow standing still and just shoot two daggers into her head but you need to be fast, since when you're flanking, you're not healing your team. Also, shout out to SK for standing still. Also, try experimenting with shooting slower. Just see if taking extra time to position your crosshair and to find a predictable movement will help you land more shots. Because it's no use shooting as fast as you can if you're going to miss all your shots. And remember, one headshot is worth three body shots. Okay, so then finally it's time for the mouse grip test. So just grab your mouse the way you normally would and then just try moving your mouse left and right and see if your crosshair also goes in a straight line. And if it doesn't, that means that you're gripping your mouse wrong and just like try fondling your mouse a bit like this to find the correct grip that uh, lets you move your mouse in a straight line. Like, you can see me do this in-game a lot, like, during a match, where if I feel like I'm not hitting my shots, I'm gonna, like, test, like, moving my mouse left and right to see if it's going at an angle, and if it is, then I just uh, re-grip my mouse. If you learned something, make sure you press that like button, and if you want more content, press that subscribe button, and maybe check me out live on twitch.tv slash arge. Come hang out. Mwah.